Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to share with you a summary of a poem Aunt Jennifer's Tiger by Adrian Rich from your Flamingo book class 12. So I have a small request, please watch this video till the end. So without a further ado, let's get started. In first stanza, Aunt Jennifer Tiger prints and move across a screen or panel. The poet describes them as bright colored like shining golden yellow jewel topids, free inhabitants of the green forest and are not scared of a man standing under the tree. These tigers move about with grace, elegance and confidence. Aunt Jennifer's tigers are not real or living tigers. They are images created by her own tapestry. Aunt Jennifer, who is held captive by the oppressive hand of a particular society, creates in her art an alternative world of freedom. Tigers represent her dreams, her desire to be free from constant fear and oppression that governs her life. This majestic and fearless tigers also present a sharp contrast to Aunt Jennifer herself, who is bound by the the constraint of married life. In this stanza too, Aunt Jennifer appears to be creating beautiful images of the tiger by using hole, but she finds it quite hard to pull even the ivory needle. She is so terrorized and tortured that she is unable to carry the weight of a hole. Her fingers flutter, the uncle's wedding band seems heavy on her hand. It suggests that she feels burdened with her material responsibilities. Through this stanza, the poet wants to convey the fact that a woman throughout her lifetime walked to glory the tigers, that is her husband. She feels so much subjugated that the material bond becomes a burden on her. This is also the reality of Aunt Jennifer's life. The final stanza reveals a sad truth. The poet says that even death will not be able to release Aunt Jennifer from the trauma she had to undergo during her lifetime. Her life will be a story of her ordeals and the operation that she was subjected to. However, the however the tiger created by her will be eternal. They will always be proud and unafraid. Here we get a glimpse of an opt quote conventional theme in poetry that art endures beyond human life. Perhaps the poet wants to say that the women themselves are creating these tigers. They need to break their shackles and be unafraid like the tigers themselves. One more thing that can be interfered from the poem is that Aunt Jennifer Jiris, who for long has borne the miseries she was subjected to, now longs for freedom, for dominance and the male chauvinism.